Hi all at MJJ Community, David Guest here. I wanted to get in touch with you about the new feature length documentary I produced, Michael Jackson, The Life of an Icon, which I hope you're looking forward to. The film is being released worldwide on DVD and Blu-ray from the 31st of October by Universal and I'm really excited to tell you about a unique event that I'd like to invite you to which will celebrate the life and talent of my childhood best friend, Michael Jackson. Michael's mother, Catherine Jackson, and his brother and sister, Tito and Reby, will be joining me in London's Leicester Square on Wednesday the 2nd of November for a special screening of the film. Catherine, Reby, and Tito and a host of colleagues and friends are interviewed in the film, revealing insightful stories about Michael's life for the first time, as well as the real reasons for his health issues. We are going to watch the film and then present a very special live question and answer session with the audience after the screening. You can apply here to win the chance to join us and some special surprise guests in London for the evening. You will also be able to put forward any questions that you'd like us all to answer on stage via this website. Watch this space. Meanwhile, please enjoy the exclusive new clip from Michael Jackson, The Life of an Icon, here. Catherine, Reby, Tito, and I all look forward to seeing you in London next month for what will be a truly spectacular event. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of conspiracy as charged in count one of the indictment. The verdict was read and it was not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, all the way down the line, all counts not guilty. And I remember very specifically Michael seeming to not understand. And I remember Tom Snedden looking at Michael for a reaction and not really getting one. And I also remember Tom Mesereau, his lawyer, leaning in and mouthing to Michael Jackson, you're a free man. I could read his lips because I was so close. And Michael still didn't get it. You felt like it was a triumphant moment, but then when you looked at him, you realized that he wasn't there for it. There was nothing you could do. He was so devastated that it had happened that you couldn't even find a place to be happy that it ended the way it did because it was so devastating that it had occurred at all. <laughs> 